We just pulled up to the first spot. Tons and fish. The guards are notoriously nasty. The gator cruising right there. Got him. Got him. Oh, he jumped out. I think I just got one of them. Beautiful little tiger Oscar here. I'm seeing a lot of little. Welcome back to Riles Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be going to the abandoned spillway down here in the Everglades and setting a couple fish traps and fishing the canals around here. There's tons of gators. It's going to be cold. There's a lot of homeless people and migrants running through this area, but we're going to have a blast catching some exotic aquarium fish. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications before we get into it. Real quick, I wanted to stop by this boat and maybe see if we could find a Burmese python in it or something. We're not going to spend too much time. I'm probably just going to jump up here wherever I can. But if we find a berm, that would be awesome. I'm sure there are also rattlesnakes and other cool stuff around here. But if we find a berm, that would be pretty sick. I'm not really seeing anything. I don't know if this boat could... Yeah, this boat could hold my weight. <laughs> but we got this boat right here. I'm just going to really take a peek. I'm not really trying. There could be somebody in here, to be honest with you. But first stop down here in the Everglades is this boat. I think I see human sh**. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but there's nobody living in it right now. I don't see any snakes either So we're gonna pull up to the abandoned spillway Hopefully that beehive isn't still there because there was a massive beehive last time we were down here We just pulled up to the first spot guys that we are going to be setting a fish trap and already we're seeing some gators Hopefully they don't mess with our little fish traps But we're gonna keep fishing or start fishing rather in this area to start the video off So hopefully <laughs> he doesn't mess with our fish trap <laughs> And so we're at the first location right here, guys, and this is an awesome location to cast it. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of stuff popping up in the water, and it looks incredible. There's a ton of fish. Every single one of these bubbles and boils you see is a fish. So we got the cast net right here. It's a little bit awkward to throw because of the guardrails, but I was able to manage to throw a cast net, and I'm doing a voiceover because this audio file got corrupted. The audio throughout is great, but if you look in the net right here, there are tons of tons of fish. Now, you don't want to use a fresh cast cast net because if you use a fresh cast net you will definitely obliterate that cast net because everything you catch in here from this spot right here is typically spiny and toothy there's a ton of gars like this one and we're actually going to be keeping this one to grow out in the fish room and for the backyard ponds but gars are notoriously nasty we got two of the little baby guys so we're going to be taking them back home with us and get them in the keeper bucket but they are notoriously nasty we got our first fish trap right here that we're going to be setting I've got some cat food right here for them as well so we're going to be setting this down in the canal right here i got it all baited up and ready to go we should be able to catch a ton of fish in these fish traps throughout the video so we're going to get it set right here now it is luckily very easy to see in the water so if there was a gator i'd see it but our first net at this location we're going to take right here and what's interesting is we didn't catch any flag fish like we typically normally would normally there's a lot of jewels and stuff but we're going to be keeping all of these ghost strips and bring them back to the house so we're going to drive with the windows down because as you can see a ton of mosquitoes in the car Guys, please cut the lights so we can get them out of here. Actually, and then also we could shine the side canals. Do you have the big flashlight? We might see some gators doing this. So we're at the next spot, guys. We're at one of the abandoned spillways out here. I got both fish traps and I also got some shrimps, live shrimp for a rod and reel. So we could try to fish and catch. That was a gator. I don't know if they heard it, but a yeah, <laughs> there's a gator out there that just went down under. But we got this fish trap right here, guys, and I'm going to need one of the flashlights for myself. Do you have a little one? Here, use, yeah, give me the little one. Keep the big one on me, guys, because actually switch, because I need to be, I'm going right next to the water, and I need something more powerful for these gators, guys, because this place, look, look, look. See those eyes right there, guys? That's a gator cruising right there. As soon as we start making commotion out here, they're going to come over and investigate. There's another gator. <laughs> right there guys there's another one behind us too. Where? yep right yep there. right there yeah there's another one right behind us right there camera girl just spotted him so exactly guys this is why we need to be diligent with what we're doing because at night guys with the cold front everything is going to be higher up in the water because all the cold water sinks so nothing wants to be out where it is not nice to be oh i see some big fish down in there oh guys look 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 so we got some wild plecos and i also just saw some oscars you see the eyes flashing back at us there's some oscars right here in these holes so we're gonna set another fish trap right here and we're gonna set another look at all the plecos there's so many fish right here so we're gonna set another fish trap right down here hopefully the gators don't pull up i'm gonna throw my waders on and get in the water with the gators <laughs> 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 camera girl does not approve because she doesn't want her boyfriend to die but it's fine because he does not care oh i see a little bluegill right here there's a lot of little fish so we're gonna set this fish trap right here and we're gonna find another point where we got good access and a good line of sight to set this next fish trap we just spooked another gator guys so we're gonna set another fish trap right down here i see more oscar fish 
I see a ton of them. Look, 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 look. More Oscars, guys. Open we it back. Look, <laughs> we got some Oscar fish swimming down here. I'm gonna set the next fish trap on the other side of this embankment. I'm really hoping we do catch some. I don't know what the odds of that are. I'm trying not to throw the fish traps too deep because too deep might mean gator food for me. So we're gonna keep walking along. We'll check out this spot for all the gators so we kind of have an idea in the back of our head where they're at. And then we're gonna start fishing some more. There's so many fish down here, guys. It's incredible, but this, Pier right here, I'm probably gonna throw one of the shrimps off of. Um, if we make too much noise, the gators will come over. Look, there's one right there. We're gonna throw some rods out here, try to see if we could catch us some big Oscars because we do have that new pond monster in one of the ponds that we do need to feed. Oh, my quad just locked up going over this fence. Not good when you're trying to avoid the gators. And let's see, any more gators? So there's none over here in this spot. You could see all the bugs, but it's very important when you're out this deep in the Everglades, guys, to you know watch for your surroundings because you're not the only ones out here and you're not the biggest animal. So you will get dunked on by these murder lizards. They're just not up right now. So we're gonna grab our net and start netting around. See if we can catch some of these fish that I've been spotting, like these plecos. We might need some for one of our ponds. And I'm gonna, this deck is new. That's nice. I'm just gonna keep up. Oh, yep, there's one. He might be. He's right behind it. Abandoned spillway could be kind of unforgiving. Jeez, bro, the amount of flies is crazy, but we're gonna pick up the net and start netting around and see what we could pick up. Set a couple rods out and see if we could catch some Oscars and hook up. And yeah, let's get right to it. We're making our way back over to the canal, guys. I got my little net right here and I've got the keeper bucket with the guards on hand. Yeah. Robbie, you're gonna wanna stay behind me. Gerald, you're gonna wanna stay next to me with the flashlight. So if any of the gators come up, and honestly, do you have that second flashlight camera, girl? Give her that so she could also watch our perimeter because once I start slapping the water, that's a cue for the gators to start. Gerald. <laughs> that's a cue the for the. On that one down because his face is white. That's a cue for the gators to start coming through. So, Gerald, point the light over here for me, please. We're going to try to spot some of these fish. I do see some plecos and stuff down here. I also see some cichlids. I wish I had a headlamp right now. Oh, there's a big jag right there. Hold on. Shine the light straight down. Look at the size on him. I'm going to get close. I'm gonna try to just get his head in there. Got him, got him, got him. Oh, he jumped out. It's a big tilapia. This is actually a perfect feeder for the big tilapia or the big red tail we just caught the guy in one of the last videos. So we're gonna try to spot him and get him. My goal is to catch more Oscars than tilapia to be honest, but that commotion right there is just enough to get some gators to start looking our way. So guys, like and subscribe if you're scared for me. <laughs> but I am having a blast honestly right now. So we're gonna take a few more nets before we sit out some rods. I'm gonna put this tilapia in our little cooler and we're gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna try to act like a drone real quick and just take a little scoop. I can't really see into the water, but I am on this little bridge so nothing can get to me. Or, I mean, I get it really could if it really wanted to, but I'm gonna try to net down here <sighs> by these little things right here. And we also saw some interesting little mosquito fish, minnow looking deals. Let's see if we could spot them again. Here, can I see one of the flashlights actually? Can I see that flashlight? That gator's looking straight at us now, yeah. That gator's looking straight at us now? I told you, as soon as we start. Oh! I don't actually. There's two eyes. I see it on camera. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I told you guys, as soon as we start slapping that water, it's gonna start coming in. But before I finish this net, I see some little fish down here that look pretty interesting. I wanna see what they are. I think I just got one of them. So we'll check this net out, see what we caught. Here you go. Oh, whoa, they're cool looking. Look at this. Oh, yo, <laughs> we just caught a little exotic. We caught a convict cichlid. And this is that little fish I was talking about. This is some weird kind of minnow. Here, camera girl, do you know what this is? Have you seen one of these before? No. Yeah, guys, I've never seen one of these before either. Comment this down below, but I do know this exotic fish we just caught is a convict. So we'll get him in our little keeper bucket and keep on netting. We're gonna set some rods out just if the gators get too crazy. We'll set some live shrimp on some hook and see if we can pull up an Oscar that way. I'm looking for some big ones and I know they're around here. There's two stacked up and there's one to the left of them. So the gators, we definitely have their attention. Actually, I think they're coming our way. Worst case scenario, we could always go down further the canal. He is definitely getting closer. Yeah, he's honestly left. he's definitely getting towards the bank Come. yeah people love to feed them i'm not gonna lie people really do so they hear the slap and they know people are fishing so they get oh oh i see an oscar down there here somebody hold this light hold it right where i have it it's nighttime so they're a little sleepy here to the left gerald they're a little sleepy a little stupid oh wait no i think that's another tilapia yeah. Oh, he just missed. I just missed. Guys, everybody is getting a little sketched out right now. So we're going to set some lines with some live shrimp. See if we can pull up some fish that way before we check our traps. They're getting really uh, antsy around the gators. What are you pointing at? 
<laughs> yeah. Look, 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 wait, look, look straight ahead. Right in front of us. Right? Oh, yeah. No, that's a little dude. Yeah, he's cool. He's chilling. But yeah, like I said, guys, it's getting a little dangerous. We're going to start going rod and reel. So we could try to stay out of a gator's mouth real quick. <laughs> Before I came down here, guys, I actually stopped at a bait shop and grabbed these huge feeder shrimp right here we're gonna use these to set up some lines um they're actually huge so i don't think anything smaller than an oscar or like a big jack could take it big enough that a baby gator might also try to take a stab at it i'm gonna grab one of these big boys and we're gonna <laughs> get one on the hook and see what we could do ow ow i hate punching you no they're not punching they're not like kimbo but they got really sharp face you see like the spines up front these things, yeah, they actually stab you. They'll stab you pretty good. But right here, this rig, it has a little lead weight right here that'll sink down to the bottom. I'll try my best to hook up on this guy. Um, I think I might send it through his back. But these are like huge prawns. Oh yeah, this shit gets smacked. All right, people, come with me. So we got the shrimp right here. We're just gonna drop the line right here. It's got the lead weight. It's gonna hit the bottom like a rock. Oh, something's already hitting it. It's a gar. It's a gar? Wait. Wait, did something already hit it? Oh, it is huge. <laughs> if I keep it up high enough, we might actually see something hits it. But I'm going to let this sink to the bottom real quick. We'll let something destroy it. Pretty deep down there, at least 10 feet. But we're going to let this sit for a second. I'll wait to see if something attacks it. And we'll reel in. Hopefully, it's a big Oscar or something. Damn, I shouldn't... Oh, is that a little pleco? It's a little pleco. Oh, dude, there's so many little plecos, dude. Oh, here. Here, take the light off him. Let's see. I'll try to cast out on that Oscar. See if he eats. If he gets spooked. No, he didn't. Oh, well, he might have. No, he's still there. He's still there. Maybe they want to eat some shrimp. Oh, I think there was something on it. You still alive, sir? I think something hit it. Yeah, this thing's definitely dead. <laughs> he's dead. Oh, it changed colors immediately. Oh, he's still kicking a little bit. Ooh, that dropped heavy. Yeah, there's a huge lead weight on this. So we'll open the bale and just let this be. Wait to see if something comes and cracks that. Hopefully a gator doesn't, because if it does, um, that's going to be one hell of a fight, and I don't know if this rod could handle that. Now that we got that rod sitting there, I'm curious to see if we catch anything. But... <laughs> Gonna take another net right here, and those weeds fish love to hide in the weeds. So let's see if we caught anything in this net right here. Walk away from the water in case a gator comes sprinting up. Oh, oh look, we caught a beautiful little tiger Oscar here, guys. Now these are crazy invasive down here in the Everglades, so really not surprising to catch one of these. We're definitely gonna get him in the keeper bucket real quick. So I'm hoping we catch like a really big 14 incher on that shrimp. Whether or not we do, time will tell, but we're gonna get him in our little keeper bucket. We've got this beautiful little tiger Oscar right here. We're gonna get him in our keeper bucket with those three little baby gar, all those ghost shrimp and some of the little feeder fish. I think we got a convict cichlid in there as well. Soon enough, we'll get him in one of the coolers, but for the time being, the bucket is good. We're gonna keep taking a few nets, but we might end up pulling up the fish traps right after we pull up that fishing rod right there because everybody seems to be getting sketched out and, you know, it's putting me in danger. <laughs> We're going to pull up this first fish trap. I believe it is right here somewhere. I actually can't see into the water too good. Oh, there it is. But the line's right here. So we'll be able to pull this up right now. And I'm using the pole net because I will be damned if I'm going in that water right there. So we'll see if the, we got any fish in this trap. I don't know if we did because it's been in for such a little amount of time. And it's looking like this first trap actually didn't catch any fish. Part of the reason is because we're just we've been running amok out here so they're definitely not gonna want to get in this trap but we got that next trap across the way we're gonna check after we pull up that fishing rod and see what we caught in there hopefully we did get a fish on the rod but yeah let's go check that we got the rod right here we're gonna just reel it up i don't know no i think that lead weight is right there i don't think anything really wants to mess with this right now this is a really big bait it has to be hit by a super big oscar or a gar and honestly it's so cold i don't even know if anything's eating right now because even that red tail we tried to catch went eat so for a second i thought this thing got like whacked by a gator or something because i couldn't find the hook but we're just gonna throw this shrimp back into the water for whatever wants to eat it the next fish shop is right here guys but we didn't really get to set it here for too long i don't think there's anything in this fish trap either because i'm looking at it and i don't see any fish i honestly don't even see any fish in the area i don't know if maybe like a gator came across here and scared them away or what happened but oh oh there is fish in here hold on let me stop getting ahead of myself there's a fish in here what are you oh dang i think it's just a massive bluegill oh this is a really nice bluegill actually this is a huge bluegill and you know what we do still have that red tail at home so i might hold on to him as well and see if he eats them but this is a beautiful bluegill so honestly i think i'll just put him back we'll keep the invasive species instead so we'll get this beautiful bluegill back in the water 
and let him continue being himself. We've got the last fish trap right here, guys. It's the last checkpoint of the day and it feels heavy. I think we did end up catching a lot of hoplo and walking catfish in here. So I'm gonna walk this up the path and we'll see what all we caught. Oh God, there's a lot of catfish in here. I'm actually gonna try to dump everything out into a bucket real quick, just so I have the best chance of actually seeing what all we caught in here. I think all the walking catfish we can't keep, but anything else could be fair game. I have no water in this bucket, just to make sorting this out a little bit easier on me. Oh damn, bro, we got a couple of them stuck in here. So we got a couple hoplo stuck in here, couple walking catfish hanging off the fish trap, as you can tell. I just got two of them out. Let's see, there's one more I think stuck in the top right here. I don't know. If, oh no. I think I actually successfully got everything out of the fish trap. So with that out of the way guys, let's look in the fish trap real quick. Oh, I see a lot of guards. Let's see if there's anything special. Oh, look, a little blue Akara. Here, I'm gonna get these guys back in the fish trap. Oh, we're gonna get all these little cichlids and stuff out here. It looks like we got a little garami. We got a garami right here. I'm gonna get all the little stuff in a bucket. Just cause all this bigger stuff, it looks like we got a little Jack Dempsey, but all the big stuff right here will potentially harm the little fish we caught. We got another Jack Dempsey right here. I'm seeing a lot of little cichlids, but surprisingly we didn't catch any more little fish. We got another Jack Dempsey. Oh. Right down here, we got a blue Akara again. Another Garami right off the top right here. Beautiful little fish. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, see some more cichlids right here. Ooh, another Convict. Beautiful. A nice, nice Oscar right here. Beautiful little Oscar. Get him in there. Because we're going to get the rest of these fish. Anything not exotic in the bucket, we got a beautiful Oscar. And I mean, some of these guys are real impressive. Like, this is a massive Hoplo catfish. If I had a big old Everglades tank, I'd keep it, but I don't. We got... <laughs> another one right here and you might be wondering why i'm doing this with no water in the bucket and it's because there's so many spines and so many ways this could go wrong for me that having them out of water is actually an easier way oh this guy is tiny little baby jack dempsey it's actually easier for me to sort the trap out let's see what else is in this bucket oh another oscar ton of slimy dudes in here we got another oscar there's actually a layer of slime in the bucket from these fish but it looks like we got another Jack Dempsey down in there. And I'm not seeing anything else in here. I just see a bunch of little baby guards. How big are these guys? We might keep another one of the smallest. Just very cute. We'll get them in a 40 gallon. And I'll get these all back in the water. And I'll keep get all the keeper fish from this trap in the bucket of the water. So let's go release these guys real quick. So we're going to release all these guys back in the water. And at the same time, get some water in this bucket. Oh, for all these keeper fish. So we got that little gar in there. Then in this trap, guys. We got another little gar, some cichlids. Nothing too, too crazy from the Everglades today. They were kind of relentless, but we did catch successfully some of these beautiful little Oscar fish. We'll get these guys in there and there's nothing left in this trap, right? Uh, all right, perfect. So we're gonna hit the road, get all these guys back in one of our fish tanks and yeah, get them added into the fish room. And now we're back from the Everglades guys and we're back in the fish room. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna get all the gars in this tank where the iridescent sharks and everything used to be. And we're going to get them in there. They're going to be completely alone because if we keep them with some of the other fish, they might actually eat them. And then with the, all the little cichlids we caught and kept, we're going to put them in the platy tank and I'm gonna move all of these platys into the platy pond. I'm not probably gonna show that just cause it's really cold outside and <laughs> I'm really just trying to get these guys in the tank. But we got these beautiful little spotted Florida guards right here. We're going to add them to the tank. Now I'm putting them in a tank by themselves simply because they are going to be shedding a ton of parasites. Guards are notorious for carrying them, but I really don't want them with any of the other fish. And so we got those three guards right there. And then we got two more little guards right here. And they're all tiny little babies. Once I feel like they're safe to add into some of the ponds, then I will. But for the time being, I'm just going to keep them in the 40 gallon breeder with these guys. And now I have the fun task of catching out all of these platys and getting them added into here so i'm going to start netting out some platys and once that's done guys we're going to add re the rest of the cichlids into this tank and now we've got all the fish we caught from the everglades in this single net right here we got a lot of the feeders we kept in here as well so they'll have something to get adjusted to in the tank so there's a lot of ghost shrimp a lot of mosquito fish added into the tank along with the cichlids i'm going to be doing a water change on this tomorrow so i'll give you guys an update on these guys tomorrow as well and that is it for today's video guys please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy i do plan on going out to the everglades again but that is it for today's video please like the video subscribe channel and turn on post notification if you did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces